Well, hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello on this very, very nice morning. Well, I don't know if it's a nice morning where you are but it is a beautiful spring day where I am not trying to brag. It's just a really nice day. Hey, we'll be starting in about 14 seconds. I just gotta do a, a little check to make sure things are working. I'm pretty sure they are. Usually things have been working quite well lately. So, we'll start in two, one. Well, hello and welcome to this English lesson about spring. If you live in the northern hemisphere, it is spring. It actually started a few weeks ago. I'm a little bit late with this lesson about spring but we still have about two little over two months of spring left before it is summer and I have to be honest, spring just started here. I know it started three weeks ago but it really just started a couple of days ago. Before that, it certainly felt like winter. So, welcome once again to this English lesson about spring where I'll talk about all of the things that I would see uh and the vocabulary I would use as an English speaker living in the northern hemisphere where spring is just beginning. Hey, before we get started, I do wanna say hi to Dave. Thanks, Dave, for being here. It's actually a holiday in Canada and I forgot to text Dave to see if he was coming. Uh, I think Todd is actually traveling this morning. So, I don't know if we'll see Todd this morning but thanks, Dave, for being here to moderate. Uh please to everyone who is here, enjoy having English conversations in the chat. Talk about the slides that I show you and maybe talk about the words that I am teaching you but welcome once again to this English lesson about spring. Uh glad to see that Mode Eggs is here. Maria C. Yarosla. I know Lolly Lolly and Adi the Thai. Uh Paco San. Judith is here. Lemon Cute. Uh Eugene is here from Etobicoke. Good to see a lot of the regulars here. Uh R&D1 is here. Key Park. I'm starting to say names twice probably. Let me just say hi to a few people. Stacy is here. Stacy Gion. Um let's see. Mimi Spike. Mahmood. Leticia and so many more people. Thanks uh to all of you who are here to learn a little bit about spring. Hey, if you do have a question during the lesson, please use the form that is uh linked in the chat. There's a little link to a form. Use that to ask a question about spring and I will try to answer it. I'm pretty excited about this lesson by the way. Um it was winter for far too long here. So, I'm happy that spring has started. Let me do one more audio check. Sounds like everything's working. That's good. Um let's get started. Springtime. So, springtime is basically spring. It's a word we use to talk about this time of year. A lot of times in winter, you'll say things like, I can't wait till springtime. You could say, I can't wait till spring or you might refer to spring using springtime when talking about it in the past. You might say, oh, back in the springtime, uh I enjoyed being outside more because the weather was cooler. So, springtime, certainly uh the time of year when winter ends and spring begins. Uh right now, springtime like I mentioned earlier is uh it's in full swing here in Ontario, Canada. It is uh beautiful outside. The weather is getting warmer. The grass is growing and so many other things are happening. I'm really happy that it's springtime even though winter is my favorite season. So, the first day of spring, uh that's how we refer to it. The first day of spring, I hope I got this right, was March 20th, 2022 or March 20th, 2022. We usually just in English when we say the year, we kind of split it up And I guess we're saying it wrong in a way but 2022 is the current year and spring actually started on March 20, 2022. There's something that we say a lot as spring is approaching. Sometimes as winter is ending and as spring is beginning, we kind of have days where some days it feels like spring and other days it still feels like winter. So, we use the English verb to feel to talk about the season. So, like I mentioned earlier, even though spring started on March 20th, it felt like winter. It didn't feel like spring on March 20th. In fact, yesterday and maybe the day before were the first two days where I would say, oh, it feels like spring today. Yesterday felt like spring. Today as well, when I look outside, it just feels like spring today. 
So, that's how we would describe just that nice feeling of uh, sunshine and warmth and the opposite of winter. It feels like spring. And we start to see what we call signs of spring. There are a lot of signs of spring and I'll talk about a few of them in this lesson but one of the obvious signs of spring for me is when things start to grow and things start to turn green. So, right now when you walk outside um I showed this earlier in one of my videos um that you can see daffodils and tulips starting to come out of the ground. So, certainly when things start to grow that is one of the signs of spring. A really nice sign. We also start to have longer days. So, in the northern hemisphere the winter days are really really short. I'm sure it's the same in the southern hemisphere where it's the opposite but specifically where I live the further north you go the shorter the days are in the winter. So, one thing we notice um when spring starts is that you can tell that the days are longer. Longer days are really really nice. When you get home from work it's not dark. In the middle of the winter when I get home from work it's dark. Now, when I get home from work I can actually work outside for a few hours because it doesn't get dark till about seven or eight at night. So, that's really nice. It's nice to have longer days. Another sign of spring. And then of course, we have what's called a spring breeze. The only difference between a winter breeze and a spring breeze is that a winter breeze is really cold and a spring breeze is in the spring and it's very pleasant. If I was to go outside right now, I can see that there's a nice spring breeze and because it's a warm day, I would enjoy the breeze and if you don't know what a breeze is, it's a light wind. So, the wind's blowing just a little bit. It's really nice in the spring on a warmer day if there is a nice spring breeze to kind of keep you cool as you walk or exercise or work outside. And one thing we like about spring is fresh air. All of the windows in our house are closed during the winter but when we start to have days where it feels like spring, when we start to have days in the spring where it's warm enough, we open our windows to get fresh air in our house. We even also say um I'm going outside to get some fresh air. So, fresh air, I always think of spring when I think of fresh air. You can open a window in the summer or fall to get fresh air as well but certainly after having the windows closed all winter, it's nice to open the windows of our house to get a little bit of fresh air once spring has started. And the trees start to leaf out. So, if you see this picture here, you'll notice that small leaves are starting to come out of the branch on this tree. When I go outside in the spring, the trees are just starting to leaf out. In about a month, the trees will have leafed out and they'll have leaves and you can sit in the shade but right now, the trees are just starting to leaf out. They're just starting to get leaves on them. They're very, very tiny but I can't wait because um when you make videos outside, it's nice to make them in the shade and in the spring before the trees leaf out, it's very sunny and warm but there's no shade. So, I'm I'm looking forward to uh, a little bit of shade under the trees in a few weeks. Uh we also have spring showers. So, a spring shower is simply a light rain in the spring. It does tend to rain a lot in the spring where I live. Quite often when I go to work, it's raining. We'll have a little spring shower in the morning. We might have some spring showers tomorrow actually. Uh they're forecasting that there might be spring showers. All a spring shower is is it's a really light rain in the spring. Uh if it happened in the summer, we would just call it a shower <laughs> but in the spring when it rains, uh it's usually nice to just feel the rain coming down. It's what helps everything grow. It's nice when we have a spring shower uh in the spring. And next, uh we just have lots of sunshine. Probably this is one thing that people who experience a really really strong harsh winter, one thing they really appreciate is spring sunshine. When you can get out in the spring and you can feel the sunshine on your face, it's just very very nice. 
after being inside for several months. It's very nice to go outside and to just have a little bit of sunshine. There was actually sunshine when I started the lesson but when I look outside now, I see that it has clouded over. So, hopefully, the clouds go away and we have a bit more sunshine later today. And then, we also have what's called the spring thaw. The snow melts. If there's any ice, the ice melts. Everything thaws. So, we go from a winter um state from a state where everything is frozen to a time where during the day, there's things everything thaws but at night it freezes again but now we're at the point in spring where it's above zero all day and all night. So, now everything has thawed. There's no more snow. There's no more ice. It's very very nice outside right now. Hey, let's get to a few questions. Let's do some questions. Remember, if you do have a question, uh you can ask a question using the form that is linked in the description. I'm sure there's a few questions here. Let me start answering them. First question is from Mode. Mode from Syria says, do you have allergies in the spring, Bob? I have allergies in the beginning of the summer. So, when summer begins, there's something that I'm allergic to Um, but during the early spring, I do not have any allergies. So, that's nice. Allergies are when your nose gets stuffed up or your throat scratchy or your eyes are itchy because pollen from flowers and blossoms makes your body react negatively. So, uh let's see. What's the next question? Um from Yaroslav. Morning, the wisest teacher, Bob. What's the difference between blossom and bloom? Have a great lesson and weekend ahead. Take care. So, we'll talk about blossoms in a bit. The difference is this. A bloom refers to any kind of flower, okay? It's also a verb. The flower blooms but a bloom like a tulip can bloom, a rose can bloom, a cherry tree can bloom but a blossom is for me, I hopefully this is scientifically correct, a blossom is a small flower on a tree. So, cherry trees have blossoms, apple trees have blossoms. I think I'm mentioning a lot of fruit trees but a blossom to me is a tiny flower on a tree. Uh we can look that up but I'm pretty sure that's how I would descri- describe that. Um let me see here. Um I need the next question. This is from all we have is fake. (laughs) When it comes to spring, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Before my heartbreak, I always thought of spring as a romantic season. Well, I first I'm sorry that you had a heartbreak in the spring that you must have had a relationship that didn't go well but uh spring does remind me of spring romances. It does remind me of that but I think the biggest thing for me is that it reminds me of um like daffodils and tulips coming out of the ground which we'll talk about in a minute and the lawn turning green. So, our lawn is very green. It's very cool to have a green lawn. Let me just check something for a sec. There we go. Everything's good. Uh let me see here. Ruslan says, hello, dear teacher Bob. How are you today? I'm good, Ruslan. I hope you are as well. Do you have bird cherry trees in Canada? It smells wonderful when it blossoms in spring. We have a variety of trees that will blossom soon in the next little while. We on our property don't have cherry trees or anything like that but when we drive north, there's an area where they have cherry trees and apple trees and it's really neat to see all of the trees with their blossoms. So, the orchard, an orchard is where you grow fruit trees. Uh an orchard is a cool place to visit when everything is blossoming. Um from I'm not a people pleaser, what do you like to do in the spring? I just like to be outside. It's so much nicer to be outside in the spring. Um we do have chilly days where going outside is still a little too cold but if you dress uh appropriately, Uh, Going outside in the spring is very, very nice. From David Moyas, why do temperate regions flood in spring? Well, I don't think it's just temperate reasons but uh, definitely we have spring flooding. There in certain parts of the world, there's a lot of rain in the spring. In certain parts of the world where I like where I live, the snow melts and then there's a lot of rain in the spring. So, we have quite a bit of flooding uh in Canada as well in the spring. Um but uh usually it's because of the snow melt but also because of spring rains in our area. 
Uh, let's see here. Azam from Iran. Hi, sir. We are looking for Riverside sessions as spring has been, I think, started, has been started. I will make sure I get outside and do uh, some lessons once it's a bit warmer. I keep saying it's warm outside but I don't know if it's warm enough to sit outside for an hour doing an English lesson but I will certainly get back to doing a few outdoor lessons in the future. Um from Mode with a little what I think is a cardinal. That's the name of the red bird. Hey, my chipper sunflower, could you explain the difference in usage between floral and flowery? Also, floral is a bit of a mouthful. So, would you mind saying it a couple times? So, floral refers to anything. For me, floral is used to talk about the businesses that sell flowers, okay? So, she works in the floral business or they own a um yeah, their business is floral. Yeah, for some reason, I'm having a little trouble with this one. It's a floral business. Like, Jen is not a florist but she grows flowers and arranges them and she sells flowers to florists who work in the floral business. There we go. That is hard to say. Uh so floral I would use to refer to any business that that sells flowers. Uh flowery is simply used to describe not just flowers um but like if you're if you use a lot of really if you use a lot of adjectives when you talk we would say your speech is very flowery. So, that's how I would use that word. Um thanks for mode for that question. Next question from Ario. Hola, Mr. Bob. My question is what do you think about spring in Japan? I love it. Um I love pink cherry blossoms. Yes. You know, when trees blossom, it is very, very cool. It's a nice aroma. It smells really nice and it looks beautiful as well. I would love to go to Japan and see cherry trees blossom. Uh from hold on. What is different between spring and winter? So, the end of winter and the beginning of spring are very similar but the middle of winter uh it's below zero all the time here. There's usually snow on the ground and you have to wear a lot of clothes when you go outside. The middle of spring uh on the contrary, the middle of spring, it's usually very warm. It's almost like summer. Not quite. It's not quite that warm but in the middle of spring in about a month, the trees will have leaves. It's very nice and pleasant outside and the temperature is enjoyable. Uh let's see here. From Betty Lou. Hi, the cutest teacher. Bob, question. Do you think spring feels differently to people of different ages? By the way, my favorite seasons are summer and winter. I think spring probably does feel different for different people. Um like for little kids when they go outside to play at school at recess, spring's probably nice because they can start to play soccer and they can start to play games that you can't play when there's lots of snow on the ground. I think for an older person, spring is nice because they can go for a walk and they don't have to worry about slipping on the ice. Um and I know for my mom and other older people, they don't like driving in the winter. They don't like driving when there's snow on the ground. So, for my mom, she loves spring because she uh is less stressed to go for a drive. So, this is from Apple the Frog. Nice emojis. Hello, Bob. How's your day? Good so far. My question is, do every animal, do do all animals lay eggs in the spring or some animals lay eggs in the spring? Thank you for answering. I don't know the full details but my Uh, understanding is that birds lay eggs in the spring and summer probably till midsummer in our area and usually not any later than that. I do know that birds right now are building nests. We'll talk about nests in a bit but I think it depends on what bird you are talking about. Judith from Hungary. Hi, Bob. How are you and your kind family? We are good, Judith. In fact, um we, the, we ha- I have a surprise that I'll show you in a future video. I think people will enjoy it. Um what is more important in spring? So, I think spring to me what's most important for me as a parent is that my kids go outside and play more. In the winter, it's very easy to look at a screen all the time. It's very easy as parents uh to let my kids just play on their phone or play computer games. Uh because it's cold outside. We do go outside but in the spring, it's important for me 
to see my kids enjoying the outdoors and to uh just uh, not be in the house all the time. Uh let's see here. So, Kania says, good morning, teacher Bob. Tell me in your country, Canada, what is the principal character of the spring season? Thanks a lot. I think one of the yeah, one of the major things I notice with spring is when I can smell that people are cutting their lawn. When I start to smell fresh cut grass, that's when I know it's really spring. That's the uh that's the indicator for me. That and when I start to see um kids playing soccer at the park, then I know it's spring. From Nicole, I have a question about the phrase spring thaw. We gotta put a P in there and take an R out. What's the difference between thaw, so T-H-A-W and melt? Can I say spring melt? Yes, you can de- definitely say that. So, things will thaw, things will melt. We use them somewhat interchangeably um but uh I think melt is more uh if I talk about snow or ice, I would say the, the snow is going to melt, the ice is going to melt and then I would in general say everything's starting to thaw outside. So, one I would use when talking about a specific thing. Um hey, we should get back to the lesson. That's what we should do. Uh let's do that for a 10 minute stretch. Let's talk about spring again. So, I mentioned daffodils. Here in Canada, there are three flowers that bloom really early in the spring. Uh the first I do not have a picture of and that's I think called a crocus but daffodils, excuse me, <clears throat> but daffodils are one of the first flowers to bloom. They have not bloomed yet in my area. They are still growing but they're definitely out of the ground and in a few weeks, we will see them bloom. Nice beautiful yellow flowers. Another flower that blooms in the spring is a tulip. Now, tulips bloom after daffodils in our area. As the daffodils finish blooming, the tulips start to bloom uh and tulips are really nice because they bloom. We have like early and late daffodils. So, they kind of bloom for a longer stretch of time for us but we definitely have uh daffodils and tulips growing right now and they will all bloom in the next couple of months. They will all bloom this spring and I'll make sure I put some I'll I'll make sure I feature some of these in videos coming up. People do a lot of planting in the spring. So, whether it's planting like this, this man is planting by hand or whether it's planting in a big field like farmers will plant in their fields in a couple of weeks. Um first, we plant corn, then we plant beans here in Canada but right now, people might be planting in the ground but it's a little bit early. Generally, in Canada, we do not plant until May in my part of Canada. Things are different in different parts of Canada but where I live, if you planted right now, people would think you're crazy. It's a little bit too early for most things. Now, that being said, Jen has planted a few things in the field, a few flower types that do not mind the cold. So, we do have a few things planted but for us as flower farmers, we will do a lot more planting in about three or four weeks and we'll do that by buying seeds. You can see here, there are a lot of seed packets or small packets of seeds. We buy a lot of seeds in the spring. Uh actually, we buy them in the winter and then we plant a lot of seeds in the spring. If you're wondering how Jen grows so many flowers if you can't plant early, um that's because we have a lot of seeds started in our basement. So, we start seeds in pots and then we later transplant them out into the field. So, definitely in spring, people buy seeds and people get ready to plant their seeds and then plant them. Um if you grow a vegetable garden in my area, most people will plant their garden um yeah, maybe around May 15th. It depends on what they are growing. We also do some pruning. So, pruning is something that it depends on what you are pruning. Some things like to be pruned in the winter. Some things like to be pruned in the early spring. Pruning is when you take pruners and you take off either some of the new growth or you take off some of the older growth or 
parts of the plant that are dead. So, pruning is something they do with fruit trees. Pruning is something they do with vines in a vineyard. So, for grapes um but pruning is something that happens I guess mostly in the winter and also in the early spring. It depends on what you are pruning but here a lot of pruning happens I think when things are dormant. That means that they are not actively growing. They are waiting for spring. Pruners are dangerous by the way. Be careful when you use pruners. There's a lot of mud right now. You can see this person is walking in an area that's very muddy uh because there are a lot of spring showers because it rains a lot in the spring. There is a lot of mud. Uh so when I go outside right now to make a video, I'm often wearing my rubber boots because even when I walk in the lawn, there are areas where there's lots of mud. It is very muddy. Um actually today it's not too bad because it hasn't rained for a few days. But uh, as soon as it rains again, we will certainly have mud uh, again. Lots of mud. I hate it when my kids track mud into the house. When you track mud into the house, it means you wear your muddy boots and you walk into the house and then the house gets mud in it. There are a lot of birds chirping. So, some birds go south for the winter. There are not a lot of birds singing or chirping in the winter. But if you've watched some of my videos on my other channel, uh you'll notice that occasionally you can hear a lot of birds chirping in the background. Uh birds seem to be back. Birds have returned uh from the south. By the way, birds do migrate. We'll talk about that in a sec. Uh but the birds are certainly chirping. When I wake up in the morning right now, I can hear birds chirping outside my window. And there's definitely a bird nest here or there around the property. Right now, You'll often see birds flying with a little piece of straw or grass in their mouth uh and they are building nests so that they can lay eggs so that they can uh, have young. So, right now, definitely uh I know when I was walking the other day, I saw a bird nest. A, a bird was building a bird nest in a tree and I talked about this a little bit. The grass is green. We have not started mowing the grass yet. We have not mown our lawn. That's hard to say, isn't it? We haven't mown it yet. Mowed. Sorry. We haven't mowed our lawn. (laughs) Sorry. I'm saying things wrong. Uh but uh it will be something that we will need to do in about a week or so. Our grass is very green. Our lawn is very green and we will need to mow the lawn uh in about a week. In fact, we probably could mow a little bit of it today. There's certain areas where The grass is very green and it's and it's already grown quite a bit where we could mow it. And by the way, the smell of fresh cut grass is something that you that's definitely a sign of spring. So, I talked about the birds have returned. There are birds that fly south for the winter. So, there's birds that live in my area throughout the spring, summer and fall and then they fly south. There is a migration birds migrate. Um not all birds but a lot of birds migrate south. So, in the winter, we have birds but some birds uh have gone. They're they're kind of like um people. They go where it's warm in the winter so that they can uh enjoy life a little bit better. I think some birds don't like cold weather. And then often in the spring, uh people will just wear a spring jacket. So, it's not warm enough to go outside with just short sleeves. You still need to wear something but a winter coat is too warm. So, often you will own a spring jacket and if you're wondering what the difference is between a fall jacket and spring jacket, for me, they're the same thing. Uh my this is my spring jacket right here. It's my spring jacket. It's also my fall jacket but generally, a spring jacket will be colorful and a fall jacket might be uh gray or black or brown. Um for some reason, a fall jacket is less colorful but that's not a hard and fast rule. A jacket can be any color but a spring jacket is often also waterproof because there's a chance it might rain in the spring. We do a lot of spring cleaning in the spring. I think in the winter because you can't open your windows, 
you keep your house clean but a lot of people when it gets really nice and when you can open your windows and have lots of fresh air, it also makes them want to clean their whole house but like extra clean. So, we do clean our house all year but in the spring, we sometimes open all the windows on a Saturday and do some spring cleaning where we clean everything. We just do a better job of cleaning um than we normally would like a deep cleaning. And in the yard, we sometimes do some spring cleanup. We started doing this actually the other day. In the winter, sometimes uh, little branches fall off of trees when it's windy. In the winter, sometimes things blow around and then when the snow melts, you have to clean up your yard. So, we do quite a bit of spring cleanup in the spring. Um we've done a tiny bit of spring cleanup but we need to do a little bit more this weekend, I think. I think we'll get out there and do some spring cleanup tomorrow. And I also have a day off on Monday. So, I might do some spring cleanup then as well. And then obviously, this was something I mentioned earlier. Uh spring is a time where it's a lot easier for kids to play outside. Our kids do play outside in the winter but usually for maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half. When it's below zero, it's fun to play outside but you don't play outside for three hours because it's just too cold. So, it's nice when spring comes because kids can play outside uh and they sometimes play outside for hours on end. In English, when you say someone does something for hours on end, it means they do it for several hours for a long time. Hey, let's get to some questions. I'm gonna flip to members only mode though. Give me one moment. I wanna say hi to the 400 and 16 people who are watching and just remind them that even though we are going into members only mode, stick around because you can still enjoy the rest of the lesson coming up in about 10 minutes. So, members, thank you first of all for being members. Anyone interested in becoming a member and supporter of the channel, there is a join button that you can click below and in the description, you can read about what you get as a member. If you become a member, your name is green during live lessons. You can ask questions during members only chat. You get an extra video on Wednesdays which sometimes comes out on Thursdays now um and uh it's just a general way to say thank you if you wanna thank me and for me to uh to just know that people are appreciating what I'm doing. But let's look at some questions. Uh let me get a question up over here and I will answer questions from the chat as well. So, Winter Wright says, hi, Bob in Canada. Is there any food or fruit which only is provided or produced in the spring? So, we really, really love strawberries. It's technically, people will say it's like the first fruit of summer or the first thing to have in summer but it technically, we have strawberries at the beginning of June. So, it's kind of the end of spring but here, the first vegetables and fruit that we have, uh we have asparagus, we have I think radishes and strawberries are the first three. I think I gotta check about radishes though. Um I like strawberries. I don't eat a lot of asparagus or um radishes. Uh let me see here. Lena from Malaysia says, hi, Bob. I'm Lena. I want to ask you best or not spring. I like spring but uh I like spring until the bugs and insects come back. That's when I start to not like it. Okay, over to members. Betty Lou says, hi, the cutest teacher, Bob. Question one, what adjectives would you use to describe spring? Don't forget to stay hydrated. I'll have a sip of tea as I answer this. Well, I would use the word beautiful. People often say, oh, it's a beautiful day out there today or they'll say, it's so nice out there today or it's a beautiful spring day today. That would probably be the number one word you'll hear in the spring. Like right now when I look outside, I should have hooked another camera up, sorry. It's beautiful out there. That would be the number one word. Modag says, hello, Mr. Bob. I see you're very relaxed today. That's awesome. Enjoy your long weekend. That's why I'm relaxed. It's a long weekend here in Canada. A four-day long weekend. I don't work today and I don't work Monday. Adi the Thai. Hello, teacher Bob. When you go outside in the spring, please make a video together because I like it especially like to watch your city. Thanks in advance. By the way, now we're in summer. It's so hot. Yeah. I will try to make more videos in the town I live close to or in the city um because I know people like to see how Canadians live. 
Uh, Yaroslav, do you and Jen grow any flowers in spring? What are they if any? So, the first flower we sell, we sometimes sell daffodils. Like, we'll bunch, we'll have bunches of daffodils. But the first big flower we sell uh, would be tulips. We have a lot of tulips in the ground. And then we cross our fingers that animals don't eat the bulbs during the winter because that happens sometimes. But tulips would be the first major flower. In a few weeks, we'll have tulips. Moat says, yeah, it'd be more accurate to call them Wednesdays with Bob. Record it on Tuesdays and put up out on Thursdays. That's literally what I've been doing lately. So, I will get back to the record on Wednesday, put it out on Wednesday once summer gets here. Key Park from the chat. Hi, Bob. Could you tell me what's the difference between thaw and melt? Thank you. So, when I leave an ice cube on the counter, it will thaw. When I leave an ice cube on the counter, it will melt. So, You could probably get away with using them interchangeably. The river in the winter is frozen and eventually it will thaw. Eventually, the river, the ice will melt. So, interesting there. I would say the river will thaw but I would, I wouldn't say the river. Yeah, you could say the river will melt. They're fairly interchangeable. So, I wouldn't get too worried about them. Um, let's see here. I wonder if the lawn moans when it's mown. I don't know about uh, Lolly says, Bob, do you sell as many flowers as before the lockdown? Merci. We actually sell just as many flowers as we did before COVID. So, that's been nice. People have really been um people have really enjoyed buying flowers during the pandemic. I think it's nice because you can it, you can give flowers to people and it's a nice gift no matter what's happening in the world. Mode says, they call them bugs because they always bug people. Yeah, insects we call bugs and they do bug people. Maria C says, hi, Bob. I heard you said that your favorite season is winter and summer. Really? Do you prefer summer rather than spring? So, my favorite season is definitely winter and I think I've mentioned this before. My summer is not my favorite season. I like fall. I like early spring. I think I like the seasons where you can dress in a way where you aren't hot. I don't like it in the summer when it's really hot um to the point where if you're wearing a t-shirt, you're still hot. So, favorite season would definitely be winter. I do like fall and spring when it's cool as well. Um let's see here. Mode says, shout out to Dave the Canadian for flying solo today. Yep. Thanks for being here, Dave. Betty Lou, hi, the cutest teacher, Bob. Does the phrasal verb spring up Uh, Is it a high frequency expression for native speakers? It's intriguing to see the word spring used in this format. Yeah, it's not used a lot. Like something can spring up or something can come up or that might spring. No, it's not used a lot. Um not like a phrasal verb like get down or put up. Those are used definitely a lot more. Betty Lou says, hi, the cutest teacher, Bob. Since this is a spring related lesson, would you mind talking about how to use spring to life as an idiom? Cheers. Let's picture a car that won't start. It's like nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. you could say, oh, I tried to start it 10 times um and then on the third time, I was happy because I heard the car spring to life. So, when a machine comes on, we say that it is springing to life. Uh let's see. Maria C says, You visited Amina's favorite coffee shop, Tim Hortons. Yes, I was there the other day. It was nice to go. It was nice to be able to walk outside and make a video. That was enjoyable. Key Park, we have short spring and fall and long summer and winter here. I like colorful spring but I always am confused what the as to what the names of different flowers are. I assume Jen is good at this. So, I fixed a few things while I read that. Yes, Jen is really good at identifying flowers. Sometimes when we go to a park and I'll say, what's that? What's that? And then Jen usually knows the name of the flower. Uh Yaroslav says, I will cross my fingers too. Fingers crossed. Thank you. Pedro says, I like when Bob's relaxed. He talks slower and I understand him better. Yes. I think it depends on the lesson too. Like last week, I did a lesson on math. That was not a relaxing lesson for me. I know a lot more about spring than I do about math. Uh, Lolly Lolly, elle a dit merci Bob. Pas de problème. Uh, let me get another question from the forum. Min from Vietnam. Hello, Bob. How are you? What's your favorite thing about spring? I do think it's just the ability to to go outside and be outside for a long time. 
uh, and not get cold. I love making videos outside but in the winter my hands start to get cold and in the spring I can just enjoy being outside. Uh Shania says, hello teacher Bob. Does your part of Canada get humid in spring? Cuz mine is really humid and I hate it so much. Thank you. No. We have a lot of humid weather in the summer in my part of Canada but in the spring it is usually fairly cool. It's warm but still cool. It's kind of in between. Like it's cold at night in the spring and I would say the daytime temperatures are very enjoyable. It's not humid. It's about 15 or 20 degrees Celsius. It's just very very nice. So, no. No humidity in the spring but a lot in the summer where I live. Uh from Kimmy and Kiwi from Korea. Good morning, Bob. What kind of work do you have to do on the flower farm in spring? So, right now, Jen is growing a lot of plants in our basement. We have lights in our basement and we have all baby plants. Maybe I'll post a picture on the community tab at some point. Um but right now, she's getting areas ready uh so she can transplant or plant into them in a few weeks. So, mostly clean up and preparing the soil uh to have things planted in it later. Hey folks, we're gonna get back to the lesson. Give me a second here to turn off members only chat. Last week, I forgot to do that I think. Let me do an audio check as well. Yeah, everything's working great. That's good. Uh, I do wanna say thanks once again to all of you who are members. You guys are awesome. Uh this is something I do. I mean, I do have a job and this is something I do not just in my spare time because I don't work full time anymore. So, I have a little bit of time every day but it is very nice to know that people want to support me and do support me. So, thank you so much for being members. Those of you that don't know what membership is, there is a join button. You click it. There's a little video that will explain that to you a bit. But uh let's get back to the lesson. Rubber boots. I talked about these a little bit earlier. I think in other parts of the world in English, they call them wellies or other names but in Canada, we just call them rubber boots. Boots that are made out of rubber so that when you walk outside when it's really wet, your feet don't get wet. You shouldn't leave your rubber boot laying on its side though. That's a good way for water to get in your boot. But I have been wearing my rubber boots outside quite often lately because it has gotten uh, a little bit warmer outside. Uh because there are a lot of puddles. Um right now, the puddles are gone but I think by tomorrow night, there will be lots of puddles again. Uh puddles in the driveway. Puddles, of course, are little pools of water that form when it rains. Um but uh right now, uh, things are actually unseasonably dry. Uh, right now. So, that's a good word for you. Uh it is the season of spring. Normally, it's quite wet outside but it's actually quite dry. So, we would say it's unseasonably dry. In the summer, when you have a really cold day, you could say it's unseasonably cold today. So, it basically means wow, this is a strange temperature or a strange situation for this season. So, we have buds. So, there are a lot of buds on the trees right now. Buds are things that form just before a flower comes out or just before leaves come out. So, uh, right now, the trees have a lot of buds on them. Uh, On some trees, those buds will open and there will be a blossom or a little flower. On some trees, the buds will open and leaves will come out. So, again, I'm looking forward Uh, to things leafing out so that we have a little bit of shade. And then we talked about blossoms. To me, a blossom is a tiny, tiny flower on a tree or bush. So, I wouldn't say yeah, how would you say that? I would say a flower like a tulip will bloom uh but a tree will have blossoms on it. So, uh, a little bit of a difference between the two. I should have asked Jen for a more formal definition before I did the lesson. And then we certainly have bees. As soon as you have flowers, as soon as there are blossoms, you will start to see bees come and visit. The bees are collecting pollen, I think. This is where I should learn my science before I do the lesson. But we definitely have a lot more bees. Um not so much today but in a few weeks, Uh in the middle of spring, uh you'll start to see a lot of bees buzzing around outside. Busy as bees, they will be. 
And then we have the return of insects. These are called ladybugs in Canada and I think in the United States. I think in the UK, they might call them ladybirds. We call them ladybugs. So, a small bug. It flies a little bit and it has like a red back and then some black dots on it. So, the insects are slowly returning. Uh, when you go outside, you can start to see some of the early insects uh, are active and around. Uh, soon, we'll have mosquitoes. That is one of my least favorite insects. Um, spring break. So, spring break has actually already happened. Spring break is when students don't go to school for one week in the spring. It usually happens in the early spring. It sometimes even happens late summer. Uh, sorry, <laughs> take that late winter. It depends on the year but most of the time, uh spring break takes place in the early spring. So, we actually had spring break a couple of weeks ago. Uh we had spring break. We actually had spring break A week before spring actually started. So, while we were on spring break, it was still technically winter and at the end of spring break, it was uh March 20th, the beginning of spring. In my part of Canada and in many other parts of uh the world where there are maple trees and where there is winter, in the spring, you will have maple syrup. So, maple syrup is made from the sap of maple trees. And then they kind of boil it down into a syrup and it's very, very sweet. It's one of Canada's major exports. So, if you've never had maple syrup, you should try it sometime. It's it's quite expensive but it's also very sweet and very, very yummy. Another thing you will see a lot of in my part of the world in the spring is you will see motorcycles. You cannot drive a motorcycle in the winter. So, as soon as it starts to get warm enough, usually around the first or second week of spring, you will start to see motorcycles on the road again. Uh you can't drive a motorcycle in the winter because it's too slippery. You will just fall over if you try to drive a motorcycle in the snow. So, even uh the other day, I was out and I saw a number of motorcycles um because it was the warmest day of the week. Uh, and people would come home from work and they would go and take a go for a ride on their motorcycle. By the way, an interesting thing in Canada, motorcycles aren't for some people, it's their main form of transportation but most of the people I know, they own a motorcycle and they ride it for pleasure or they ride it for fun. So, most of the people I know don't drive their motorcycle to work. They drive their car to work. And they go on the weekend and drive their motorcycle for fun. So, an interesting thing about Canada. Probably because um yeah, you can't drive your motorcycle for about five months out of the year. You can only drive your motorcycle from about now till about October and then it gets a little chilly and a little cold um and when the snow starts to fly in the fall, you can't really drive a motorcycle. The other thing you will see a lot of are classic cars. This would be like a hot rod or classic car or sports cars. So, like a brand new Lamborghini or Ferrari. In Canada, winter is not a good time to drive a classic car or a sports car for a couple of reasons. Number one, if you have a Lamborghini and you try to drive it in the snow, it just won't work very good. The tires will spin a lot. And you'll go off the road really easily. Number two, in the winter in Canada, we put a lot of salt and sand on our roads so that it melts the snow and this or the sand gives you traction and both of those things are not good for fancy nice cars. They uh the salt especially will cause the car to rust really fast. So, generally, people who own really, really nice cars, rich people, They don't drive them in the winter. They drive something else in the winter but just the other day, I was making a video and someone drove by in like a 1970 uh Chevy Nova. Really nice paint job. Really big engine. Um that person would not drive that car in the winter. So, in the spring, we tend to see a lot more classic cars. A classic car is like a really old car that someone has made to look nice again or sports cars. Hey, that's the lesson. 
Let's get back to the question. Questions and uh, finish those up. I think there's just a few left. Um, and then we will be done the lesson. But before we do, I wanna thank the 400 people who are watching. You guys are awesome. If you're new here, you should click this subscribe button and then you'll get notified when I make a new lesson and click the bell too or something. Larissa, hello, Bob. What are the best spring vacation destinations in Canada? Thanks. Have a nice weekend. So, I think spring is still a little bit cool um for certain destinations. Like I would say go to Ottawa but go in about a month. Like in the middle of May is probably the best time to visit Ottawa. If you were to visit Canada right now, I would say go to British Columbia. Go to Vancouver or Victoria because they're usually a little warmer and so spring is in full swing there. So, you'll see a lot more flowers and those kinds of things. So, it kind of depends on when you're coming in the spring. If you were coming to Niagara Falls close to where I live, I would wait about a month because then a lot of the tulips will be blooming in Niagara Falls. Um this is Lena. What animals are there in the spring? Thank you, teacher Bob. Mostly, we see a lot more birds but in my area, you'll also see a lot of uh, farmers who have sheep, you'll see that the sheep have had lambs. So, there's baby sheep, lambs uh, or goats will have had kids. Goats have kids. So, depending on the type of farm, most people who have lamb or who have sheep and goats, you'll see a lot of baby animals on those farms in the spring. So, this is from Ibrahim. Hello, Mr. Bob. Could you describe to me, I'm gonna add the word to, the weather over there in your town. Thanks. Today, Right now, it is 12 degrees Celsius. I think it's a high of 18 degrees today. So, later today, it will be a lot warmer uh, and the sun is shining and there's just a little spring breeze right now. Um, I can't wait to go. I haven't been outside today yet. I didn't go for my walk but I will go out later. So, that's the day uh, and then tomorrow, chance of showers. I think tomorrow evening, they're just saying rain. I think it's supposed to rain. So, from Mohammed, does do any beaver live in the river near your home? Possibly, you may have noticed any sign of chewing through trees. Not in this river but when I go for my walk, there is a small creek. So, a creek is like a really small river and there's definitely beavers there and you can see them uh, chewing through and chopping down trees but not right here. The river by me, I don't have that. Um This is from Sylvie. Hi, Bob. Thank you for your teaching. Let's change the R to a T. Little typo. Do you harvest birch sap? We don't. We do not have any large maple trees or birch trees on our property or at least not enough to gather um to collect sap or to make maple syrup or birch syrup. So, we don't to do that. Uh let's see here. Yaroslav says, in full swing, I like it. Yeah, that is a great mode says, Mr. Bob uses that phrase a lot. Yes. The lesson was in full swing but now it's winding down. There we go. And I know mode mentioned something about melting and thaw. Let me scroll back to see that right after the members only chat. Mode said, you also use thaw with frozen food. You can't use melt with that, right? Yeah. When you like if you have something like meat in the freezer, you would thaw the meat before you cook it you wouldn't melt the meat. So, that's a good distinction. The ice cube would melt in the ca- on the counter. When you put ice cubes in a cup, they will melt. They will yeah, they will thaw. I would use melt in that case but I would use thaw for meat definitely. Yes, you would thaw it. Uh let me see here. I think we're done. I think it was a good lesson. Uh I enjoyed it. Uh do remember a couple of things. This lesson, it is a good idea to listen to it again. It does come out in a couple of days uh in a shorter format. I will remove the viewer questions. So, it will be a pure lesson about spring. It'll be about 25 minutes long. Do take the time to either watch that or listen to the whole thing again and if you don't have time for that, at least go back and listen to the parts maybe where you were a bit confused because when it comes out in a couple days, it'll have English subtitles. Um that might help you understand those sections. So, if there was you know maybe there's a five or ten minute section and you didn't quite understand what I was saying, do watch that uh edited version that comes out in a couple of days. Maybe turn the subtitles on uh and that might help you just a little bit. Anyways, thanks to Dave for hanging out on a holiday. 
Uh, thanks for being here and uh, moderating the chat. I'm just gonna say bye to Mize Dance, Apple the Frog, Alex Key Park, Zane, uh, Dave the Canadian. Bye, Dave. And Yaroslaw and Mode Eggs and uh, Lemon Cute. And let me scroll back. Yaroslaw and Lolly Lolly and Eugene from Etobicoke and everybody. Just bye to everybody. Let me just put it that way for now. Uh, it was fun to hang out for about an hour. Um, for those of you wondering, when will I start doing Saturday lessons outside again? I'm not going to do them every Saturday but I am going to start to do one or two a month in a few weeks. It needs to get a little bit warmer and then I will be doing a lesson. Um I don't know if it'll be on a schedule um or if I'll just do one every now and then but uh, as the weather gets nicer, I will pop outside so that you can enjoy um the surroundings um as I answer some questions about English. I know some of you have been asking for me to start doing that again and I do plan to. Um it just won't be three a month. It'll probably be one a month while I'm teaching and then I'll maybe do two a month in the summer or something like that but anyways, thanks for hanging out. Have a great Friday and uh new lesson coming out Tuesday and uh, if you haven't watched this past Tuesday's lesson, uh give it a watch. It was fun to make. I think you will enjoy it. Anyways, bye.